Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about Trump and Biden and polling and Mo and a message from somebody who says they're a pollster. And we're going to go over some information. If you have missed it, I have uh, a lot of skepticism when it comes to a lot of the polling that is going on right now because of how it has lined up with the actual results during the primaries. It definitely seems to be skewed. Okay, so here's the message. I'm a pollster with name of a polling organization that you have heard of. Um, it is worth noting that I don't actually know this person. They could completely be making that up. But the points that are made here, they're, they're worth talking about. I watch every video about polling you put out waiting for you to say something and you haven't. I, like you, think polling is skewing a certain way, but that's not actually what you need to talk about. I'm fully prepared for the snarky comment about telling you how to use your platform. You need to explain Mo. I can tell you're factoring it in, but you haven't mentioned it in any of this election season's videos. And then P.S. You say you don't know exactly why the polls are skewed. Pro tip, we all use census data. That gets really interesting. Okay, so what is Mo? And in this message, it is capital M, lowercase o, lowercase e. Um, so I'm going to assume that was supposed to be all caps in that case. Love autocorrect. Um, Mo, margin of error. And a lot of people think they understand what that means, but they, they may not. Right now, you have a whole bunch of people freaking out over what amounts to a two and a half, three point swing in, in a poll that has a three point margin of error. And based on that, you're thinking, okay, so it's in the margin of error. It really doesn't mean anything. Yeah, that's true. That number comes from what they can expect to occur if they were to repeat that survey 100 times. 95% of the time, they would get an answer within the margin of error. However, the margin of error is both ways. So if it's a margin of error of three, well, it's really six. Um, so the two and a half point swing, that's completely consistent with the previous poll. Um, okay, so we're gonna talk about the polls that are interesting. Sometimes you get polls that are from the same respondents. They poll the exact same people again. Those are interesting because they are more likely to actually show a swing. However, if somebody is uh, not set in their vote enough to swing from week to week, Odds are something will happen the week before the election that might alter their vote. So while they are interesting, they are not really great at being able to forecast out from. So these are problems on the math side of the polling. You also have a bunch of other issues that can arise is how they ask the questions, their samples, and how they're weighted, and all of that stuff. The question is, obviously, if this is how it works, why don't news outlets tell you that? Because then they can't run headlines making a big deal out of a one-point swing. It's bad for ad revenue. Okay, now let's go to uh, the, the idea of census data being used from 2020 when there was the whole public health thing going on. A lot of evaluations have determined that some groups 
were significantly undercounted. Some demographics were significantly undercounted. Um, the interesting part about that is they are demographics that would tend to vote the opposite way of how the polling appears to be skewing. It's interesting. Is that what's happening? There's no way for me to prove that. Like, e even with, like, unlimited resources, there's no way for me to prove that. But it's interesting. And I like it more than non-response bias because I have a, a bias against non-response bias. Um, I just don't think that's a good answer. So this is information that somebody who says they're in that field feels you should know. And yeah, it is incredibly useful and it is very grounding when you see these small shifts in the polls that the media is trying to cast as a, a major development. It's also worth noting that you actually have to pay attention to the margin of error because 3% is probably the norm, but I've seen some go as high as 5 or 6, which realistically, 5 or 6 in either direction, I mean, that's not really helpful. Um, the other thing to keep in mind as far as media coverage, U.S. politics today, especially when you're talking about a presidential election, is so polarized, pretty much any poll is going to come out within that margin of error. And again, it just, it doesn't make for good TV. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.